traditional read switch cycle computers are widely used to display speed, cycling time, and travel distance. However, they are typically battery powered, which requires the human interaction for replacing the power source while adding extra cost and weight. An energy-driven computing system can be considered to minimize or eliminate the energy storage element. Here we refer to an energy-driven system as the one where energy source is a key consideration for the design of the system. These systems differ from the state-of-art energy harvesting systems, as the system's operation is not only driven by the application requirements, but becomes highly dependent on the power and energy availability. Specifically, the vision for energy-driven systems is achieved by also considering transient computing, which enables computation to be sustained from an intermittent supply. In this case, the sensor is used to harvest energy and power the embedded system, which include a low-power microcontroller with a fast, non-volatile Ephraim memory and a transceiver. As there is no additional energy storage in the system, it must respond to changes in available energy quickly enough to sustain computation. Some of the challenges are to meet the tight timing and energy constraints. We have developed a transiently powered wireless cycle computer that harvests the energy in a non-intrusive way from the motion of the bicycle's wheel. It uses a simple induction coil and magnet to induce the voltage across the coil. To validate the system, an experimental test setup was created that replicates an actual wheel. When the magnet passes the coil, a negative and positive voltage pulse is generated. The system is powered during every rotation of the wheel, where travel distance, speed and active cycling time is calculated. To calculate the speed, the slope of the generated voltage pulse is analyzed. The graph shows two predefined voltage points of falling edge of the pulse. To calculate speed, the system counts the time between these two points. The speed is evaluated accordingly to trend line of rotational speed of the wheel and the time between high and low threshold voltages. The width of the generated pulse can range from about 20 to 80 milliseconds. During the pulse, the microcontroller and transmitter boot up and then the pulse is analyzed. Subsequently, the current speed, distance, cover and active cycling time are calculated and then data is transmitted to the receiver. Here the comparison of speed values of the regular bike speedometer and the proposed system are shown. It can be seen that the regular speedometer lags for about 1.3 seconds because its sampling rate is lower than our system. Our system is able to boot at speeds below 7 km per hour, while data can be transmitted at 8 km per hour and above. The flowchart shows different operational modes of the system that are used to adapt to available energy. While traveling at very low speeds, the scavenged energy is not enough to complete all required tasks in one iteration. To adapt to available energy and save valid data, the system is designed to operate in four different modes – low speed, measure, calculate and transmit. There are three different preset threshold voltages for actualizing the boundaries of these modes – Vn, Vc and Vt. These voltages are compared to supply voltage using an analog to digital converter. And depending on the output, the system proceeds with the execution of the task or saves the necessary data to non-volatile memory. The system uses about 20 microjoules of energy to measure, calculate and transmit valid data. The system has an average speed error of 2.3%. This system can be easily installed on any type of bike and it's extremely lightweight as it only consists of a single coil and a magnet. Finally, the fact that the battery has been removed also results in no maintenance required.